You know, it's a good feeling when you don't stress about money. Jensen Cyberland coming back to you with another real estate life home ownership video um, and this one I'm going to talk about a little bit about finances and uh, something that I've learned and how I've kind of managed to put myself in this situation so honestly I would say up until maybe the last year and a half I was always chasing money and not in a good way. It was always uh, trying to make money, make money, make money, but it wasn't because um, my, my mindset wasn't the best on how to handle it once I got it. It would automatically get spent. It would automatically get utilized for things instead of being utilized for rainy days. And something my mom always used to tell me, and I just never did it. Never did it. And it was always, well, I got to get this. And, and oh, I want to get this. And there's this I want to buy. And I need to do this. And I need to do that. And every single one of those things that, uh, that I stated uh, in regards to what I needed to do, it wasn't really things that I needed to do. It was stuff that I wanted to do. And... Uh, because of those being wants, um, that ended up putting me in uh, financial stress when I really didn't need to have it at all. Uh, my bills, me and my wife's bills, weren't exceedingly off the chart. Our expenses were exceedingly off the chart. It was just the fact of every time we would get paid, um, our money would go towards doing things that we wanted to do as opposed to things that we needed to do. And then we always felt like we weren't making enough or we weren't, the money was just being spent and we would feel like we could never keep, we can never keep up with our expenses when in fact, we really could, we just were not being, uh, we didn't have a respect for how much we brought in and how we need to utilize our funds. And because of that, um, we would always be stressed out one way or another or feel like, oh, I need to do this, I need to do that, or I can work extra hours, or I can, let me cut back on buying these things that actually you needed to buy because we weren't making the best financial choices. And uh, I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm perfect. Because I'm not. I'm making this video for those watching to say don't, don't do the things that I did. Now, I'm not going to say exactly what everything was spent. But I would say that, you know... Like when I made my dopamine video, it's, it really comes back to that. Do you need to, every time you get paid, do you need to go buy some shit? Can you not just be content with what you have at home? Do you always need to spend money? Can you just pay your bills and be happy with what you have at your house or your apartment? Do you need to have the newest stuff? Do you need to have the flashiest stuff? Do you need to always consume product? Because what about when expenses come that were not part of the plan? And you don't have the money. But you want to put it on a credit card and now you have to pay more 
then what is, instead of you paying $2,000, you now need to pay $2,600 if you don't pay all that and when it's due. When if you had just been stacking your finances and respecting the money that you were bringing in, yeah, that's not money you want to spend, but you have the money that you need to spend to get $2,000 repair done on your car. So you can still get where you need to go, whether that's to go have fun or go handle business. And it's not easy. It's not easy. It's hard when you are working and you, you want to enjoy the money that you make to go do the things that you want to do and you have to cut back and, and be more financially savvy about where your money is going because there's going to be times where things need to get fixed as opposed to you wanting to go spend money on things that you want to do you need to spend money on things that need to need to happen whether it's your car you need to buy groceries you need to fix the roof you need to fix that plumbing issue you need to see where I'm going with this the needs outweigh the wants the needs have got to get done first before any wants happen and sometimes can you go a couple more weeks or a couple months with without um, having the wants it's another thing to consider so I'm not going to act like I haven't been in this situation because I have and, and to this day I work at it, I work on it every day to make sure that I'm doing more, keeping my needs, uh, my needs being the focal point and keeping my wants at bay and keeping them in check. So I don't um, stress about money anymore. I mean yes I still have to work, yes I still need to make money but I don't stress like I used to where um, there's a serious issue of some sort because I'm not being financially responsible or being the best to prepare for situations like this. So with that being said, um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.